I'm Raphael Liogier, L-I-O-G-I-E-R. Um, I am invited professor here. I am a professor in France at Sciences Po Aix-en-Provence of sociology and philosophy. And I'm a researcher at Paris 10 Nanterre, University of Paris 10 Nanterre. And I've been for years uh, in associate professor at Columbia University in New York City. And I'm working on belief and knowledge. And sometimes the frontier is very thin between belief and knowledge. We think we uh, believe, but in fact it's a knowledge. And we think we have a knowledge, but in fact it's a belief, and even with scientists. So I'm working on that thing in a general uh, way. But what I'm going to do here is two things. To try to fight against two prejudices. I love to work on that. I always work on prejudices. I start with something that is supposed to be like everybody assume it, and I try to show that it's not the case. For instance, my first, my first talk will be about the idea that we think that we human, we are a more complex animal than other animals. That's a very, I mean, a prejudice, a very average prejudice in everybody's mind. And it's true. But we think that we've always been. And I don't think so. I think it's because we are first a complex animal before being complex. Complex in meaning like frustration. Because there is an idea that is called neoteny, the fact that the human animals, uh, and even among mammals, are the only ones to be so fragile that they can't survive if they don't do specific things to survive, in order to survive. Because they were born too early, that's what means neoteny. And so those specific animals that we call humans are so fragile that they are complex, they feel this fragility. And because they feel this fragility, they need to do something about it. And they will feel this fragility so deeply that they will build what we call an ego. Ego is what? Is the fact that you're complex, you need to show something. It's not a question of being more comfortable or being richer or something. No, we want something else. Even when among humans, sometimes when they are rich, it's not to use their wealth. It's to make people see that they are rich because it's related to their complex. And so we could see that it's negative in a way, but it's not negative because why do we, why we, do we go to, to the moon? We went to the moon. It's not, I mean, it's not a necessity for survival. It's not a necessity for anything whatsoever, actually. But we go there just to say that we went there. Because we are complex, because we, before we are complex, you know? So that means the fact that we are complex animals, frustrated and weak, make us stronger than any other animal on the planet and more complex than any other animal on the planet. So it's because we are complex, that we became complex. That's the first thing. And the second thing I'm going to talk about, it's another prejudice, a very deep prejudice. It is the idea that uh, intelligence, conscience, is something that is more complex. As we are, we are, I mean, it's like if uh, the fact that we are, I mean, smart and smartness comes from complexity. It's because we are more complex that we are more intelligent, for instance. And I try to show that we can't say that. There are many reasons to show that uh, the fact that we assimilate intelligence with complexity, that will mean that computers are more intelligent than us now. And they will become more and more. And I don't agree with that, and I'll try to defend that. But obviously, I don't have time to explain that here, because it will be too complex.